Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Adding product variants to your Shopify store is a great way to offer different options to your customers, such as size, color, and material. In this video, we will show you how to add product variants to your Shopify store, step by step. So let's dive in. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, first of all, what I will need you to do guys is simply go ahead and launch your browser. Right after that, go ahead and click into the URL section over here in whatever browser you are using and search for Shopify. Here we go. And let me just remove this PNG. And here it is. So this is the website that we are going to use. Now, let me just go and add English. So we have the English website and the version of it. And here it is over here. So all I'm going to do is click on it. Now, this is the website. And for us to actually have a store, all we need to do is click on one of these start free trail button. So there is one over here and the other is in the top right corner of the page. So let's try and click on it. Here, they will give us like a question and answers. So you have to answer some question of theirs. First of all, they will ask us, which of these best describes you? For me, I'm just starting. Then click on next. Where would you like to sell? For example, there is an online store, an existing website or blog, social media, online marketplaces, in person, here you can click if you're not sure yet where you want to sell. For me, I'm going to choose and pick an online store. Let's go to here and click on next. Now, what do you plan to sell first? Products I buy or make myself, digital products, dropshipping products, services, print on demand products, or I will decide later. So let's click on I will decide later for now because I'm not sure yet. And now let's give our store a name. So here, let's name it, for example, tutorial video. Let's wait until they check everything and they give us the authority to use it and then click on next. Now let's choose the region next again. And finally here, we have to create the Shopify ID. The Shopify ID is used like to log into our account so you can Log in using an email and password, Apple ID, Facebook, or even Gmail account. For me, I'm going to use Gmail account because it is easier for me. So let's click in here. Then let me pick my Gmail account. And here I am. Now they are building our store and it can take between 10 to 40 seconds maximum. It is not that long. And don't worry guys, the dashboard is pretty easy to use. It is so simple and I will take you through it step by step. So don't worry about anything. Here, as you can see, you have your free trade that will be ended at 9th of April. So make sure to get your premium version of, Sh of Shopify uh, before 9th April because your shop will be extended and closed. The, f the, the premium version will cost you only $1. So it is not expensive at all. Now let's start with installing the application. So now for us to actually add the product, it is pretty easy and super easy. All you need to do is click on add products from over here and this page shall be opened for you. Now let me just go through it step by step. First, here you will find the title. So here it is the title or the name of the product that you are going to sell. For example, in my case, iPhone X. Then, let me just close this, here we go. And then here you will have to add a description for your product. So let me just search for it real quick in like Amazon. Here we go. And let's, for example, go for this one and copy this description that they have here. So let's copy it like that. It is just like an example. You have to make your own description, of course. 
here the product status it is active so once you are done with creating it is it going to be directly in the website or you just want it to be a draft so later on you want to add it not now uh, so we will keep it keep it as active now here the media here it is where you're going to add the image of that product you can either image use image videos or 3d model so it is completely up to you let's add from here from here for example you can add a file from here so let's go to download and let me just search real quick for an iphone here we go um probably it is going to be here here it is and here we go now let's put here product organization so here product category let's choose first um let's see for example uh browse all and let's check from over here electronics and here products uh, type phone vendor um, admin here it is collection uh, let's put it in the home page tags apple um iphone x 2023 this is just an example of the tags that you can add and finally here you'll have to put the price uh, not finally but yeah the next step which is the price so here it is the price so let's put here for example a thousand dirhams which is a uh, hundred dollars and here just tax on this product of course cost per item you can do for example 20 and this is it now let's go down track quantity here you must put the inventory of yours so the quantity that you have in your inventory so here shop location you can put here um we have for example 10 so we have around 10 iphones continue selling when out of stock uh, you can use this as well this product has sq or barcode so if you have any sq or barcode you can add it here and write it as you'd like finally here there is the shipping here it is the shipping if you'd like to make a shipping etc here you have to put the weight of these products you can search it for uh, like for it online you can find it anywhere and here include custom information you can do that for something uh for some reason this is necessary and finally here if there is any business product or service you can add it through here and customers won't enter shipping details at checkout uh, learn to set up your store for digital products or services so in case you had like this products or services you'll have to actually go to this page and manage the settings format and finally here there is the variance so here we'll have to add options like size or color so for example there is colors there is black we can add black one so black here it is um we can add red and cold so these are the variants that you are going to use add another option let's say for example um style so uh, iphone x s and iphone x max so these are the sizes that you are going to be with here you can charge each one of those with its own price if there is like any difference in price for example iphone xs will be more expensive than iphone x iphone x max will be more expensive than iphone uh, xs and of course the golden iphone will be much more expensive than all of these iphones when you are done with that you have only to click on save from over here and then your product will be launched in public for everyone to see so yeah guys this is completely it that's how you can create product variants in shopify i hope you learned something from this video if you did please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for the channel if you had any kind of errors or problems make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will answer all of your questions and if there was any kind of hard problem i will of course make another video about it and completely show you how to fix that so thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video